So now, let us go to the D part of our code sentence, that is the definition part. So what is the definition of a set? A set is a collection of well-defined and well-distinguished objects. So a set is a collection of well-defined and well-distinguished objects. There are two words in this definition. So obviously you can see that we are talking about a collection of objects. Right? You know what a collection means. Collection is a group of objects. So let us say I am talking about collection of vowels in English alphabet. So I am talking about a collection of vowels in English alphabet. So is this set well defined? So obviously we are talking about some collections. You know that in the collection of vowels in English language you have five letters A, E, I, O and U. So is this collection well defined? So well definedness means that when you define a set, the definition of this set has to be very clear. That means if you take any object, if you take any object, you should be able to tell whether that object belongs to the set or does not belong to the set. So once you have defined the set, this is the definition of the set. That is, this set contains vowels of English language. That's how I describe a set. Now once I describe this, so is this well defined? Yes, because if I take an object B, so you have a lot of English alphabets A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, so on up to Z. You have 26 English alphabets. Now once I have given this description for the set, you should be very clear whether if you take an object A, so does A belong to this collection or not? The answer is yes, because A is a vowel. Does B belong to this set? No. Does C belong to this set? The answer is no. Does D belong to this set? The answer is no. Does E belong to this set? Yes. So the answer has to be either yes or no. There should not be any ambiguity. So such collections are called well-defined collections. So A, E, I, O, U are collection of vowels in English language. English alphabet is a well-defined collection. And the collection has to be well-distinguished also. Well-distinguished means that each object should be distinguishable from the next object. So if you take, if you take any two objects in this set, they have to be distinguishable. They should not be exactly same. That means if I say the collection of vowels in English alphabet, you cannot write A, A, E, I, I, O, O, U. This is not the collection that I am talking about. Because if I write A two times, these two elements are not well distinguished. So well distinguishedness means that an element comes in the set only once. It does not come twice. So I say that in the collection of vowels in English language, how many elements are there? There are five elements or there are five objects. So if this property is not there, if well distinguishedness property is not there, I would have as well written like this. That means this set might have more than five elements. So to cut down this ambiguity, so in the definition it's given that a set is a collection of well-defined and well-distinguished objects. So usually we enclose a set in flower brackets. We enclose the objects of the set in flower brackets. So let us take an example where this well-distinguishedness is not be getting satisfied. So if I say I want the collection of good teachers. So if I want the collection of good teachers. This is not a well-defined property because good is not a well-defined property. Because some teachers you might feel good and the others might not feel good. So good is a subjective. Good is subjective. It's not an objective word. So whether a teacher is good or not depends on my subjective opinion. So such collections cannot be considered as mathematical sets. So once you say that a collection is a set, it has to be 
well defined and well distinguished so next the objects in the set are called elements the objects present in the set are usually called elements of set so how many elements does this set have this set has five elements this set has five elements and sets are usually denoted by capital letters sets are usually denoted by capital letters and the objects of this set are enclosed in flower brackets and you use a comma for each object so you can as well call this elements right so sets are represented by capital letters and objects of this set are usually called elements and elements are enclosed in flower brackets and we say that every element of the set a belongs to a that is i write the element a belongs this is a new symbol for you it stands for belongs to so the element a belongs to the set capital a and the element b belongs to does element b belongs to set a no element b does not belong to set a if you write belong to and put a if you cross it then it means does not belong to does not belong to so a is an element in a so i say that a belongs to a and b is not an element of a so b does not belong to a so each element of the set belongs to that set 